So, hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now, over the last couple of days, Manchester United have been linked to 20-year-old Benfica defender Antonio Silva. He's a player that has rised on the scene as a new candidate for the new Manchester United centre-back role. Now, in this video, we'll be giving you kind of five reasons why Manchester United might look to sign him, what it really is about and what you can offer to the Manchester United team. So, before we do go anywhere, please drop a like, subscribe if you're new and let's get straight into it. So... Who is Antonio Silva first? So, Antonio Silva is a 19-year-old centre-back, currently playing for Benfica, obviously, in Portugal, um, and is now kind of an international playing for the Portugal team. He has risen through Benfica's academy ranks before becoming one of the first names in the team sheet this season. He, is cur he has currently has a release clause of €100 million Euros in his contract following a contract extension with Benfica until 2027. He predominantly plays as the right side of centre-back while standing at 6 foot 2 and playing around 3,000 minutes this season, or sorry, last season for Benfica. So, listen, with Antonio Silva, he certainly had a lot to this Manchester United team. He is quick, good on the ball, um, and plays a lot. And the Portuguese league is a very, very good league. And so too is the French league to kind of develop young talent. Certainly defenders. I mean, you look at the defenders that have kind of come from Portugal, particularly Benfica. You've got Ruben Diaz, David Luiz. Like, they're two very, very key players. Um, and yes, that's only two, but there'd be others on there that I'm not obviously thinking about. But two very, very good players to kind of come from there. And uh, sorry, Antonio Silva does that the next player to come through. Um, we're going to be looking at one-on-one -on -one defending, composure in possession, how he deals with facing press, defensive positioning, recovery pace, age profile, and his potential. Now listen, with Antonio Silva, he is um, 20 years of age. He's similar profile to Leonard Euro, just a bit older. Um, his price, obviously he's got a release clause of £84 million, which is around €100 million. Euros. Manchester United reportedly can off or Benfica are willing to accept forty-two million pounds for him. Now that is obviously half the release clause. Maybe they are kind of wanting to cash in and get some money for him. But listen, let's get into the one-on-one -on -one defending situation. So Silva has superb composure in and out of possession, as personified in his in innate composure when faced with a dribbler. Sometimes he can step up and lose positional sense, which is expected of a young player, but is largely competent when defending. I will see if I can put some clips in to the video, um, just kind of highlighting this. He wins 62% of his duels, or 11.9 per 90 on average, with a 54.3% aerial duel success rate. His aerial ability has been a criticism, and if he is to adapt his to a league such as the Premier League, if he was to move there, would need to improve, although he's not bad by any means. Now listen, that is quite when I when reading that, is a bit weird because he's six foot two, um, and his aerial ability, if it's a criticism, that is something that as a tall player you are kind of expected to win your aerial duels. Um, but obviously he's young and he is going to improve on that. He's smart when he does foul, highlighting his ability to tactically foul, foul. He averages a yellow card every 10 games. This, this, discipline is essential when building a side that is cohesive as you want them to play as many games together as possible. In terms of possession, Silva has an extraordinary passing range, being an architect from deep areas from Benfica. His pass accuracy for this campaign has been 93.7%, but context must be applied to this as Benfica are heavily possession dominant side. He can play long passes, um, short passes, diagonals, um, and he is very, very smart in possession. He likes to drive with the ball, play balls across channels, and that's something that Manchester United need, especially in the modern game as well. You, you need to be a ball-playing defender, and that's something that Antonio Silva can definitely offer. Now, regardless, his passing technique is so elite. The loop nature of his diagonals ensure a delicate touch to passing, useful for controlling games. He averages around 61 passes per 90, Mightly impressive for a centre-back and showcases just how crucial he is to the build-up. He's incredibly progressive, putting together 4.63 progressive passes per 90 and 0 0.96 progressive carries per 90, making him a first-phase specialist. For a tall player, he has a gr great low centre of gravity, able to turn quickly and find his man. So listen, as I said, comparing him to kind of the centre-backs at Manchester United, from, from Lena Euro, what we've seen, very, very good player on the ball. From... Um, from Martinez, we know how good he is on the ball. Maguire, to be fair to him, is actually very, very good on the ball. Like, 
he may have that odd error in him, but diagonals are really, really good. Um, like receiving it, passing long balls, he's fantastic on the ball. Um, so listen, he is he is really, really kind of good at things like that. Um, and he does kind of offer a lot for Manchester United. And um, so, yeah, let's talk about how Antonio Silva deals now when facing a press. So despite being so young, Silva is extremely calm when facing a press. Although it must be known that Benfica are not pressed too often, largely due to them being a technically superior side, um, this make this does make it hard to kind of examine how good he is when dealing with the press. From the limited evidence we obviously have, um, we can suggest that he excels at it. He has a low sense of gravity, which enables him to receive on the half turn, come to be similar to Lissandro Martinez. He's often the first receiver from the goalkeeper, taking impetus to bring, begin the build-up play. And even when pressed, has dealt with it immaculately. In fact, he ranks ninth in the entire league for passes completed this season. He loves to take initiative. Now, with any centre-back as well, positioning. I do believe this is a pivotal importance when assessing a young defender because if they have such positional intelligence at a young age, it casts a positive on the inevitability over their future. Silva has this. He's very, very good when it comes to taking up positions. He knows exactly where to stay, exactly where to go, and he understands the game and reads the game really, really well. He has found the right balance of when to press and when to be more conservative in the pressing, owing to a fantastic, mature on young, fantastic, mature mind on his young shoulders. Osamendi tended to be the aggressor in the partnership of Benfica while Silva playing the role of the pragmatic, someone who kind of stays behind and is the second man of sorts. In terms of pace as well, because um, he has elite reading of the game, he doesn't have to use his recovery pace as often, but whenever he does, it does show he is really, really quick and decisive in the challenge. And I'm just watching clips which I can kind of hopefully Im input into the video um, but yeah, he, he reads the game fantastically well. Um, so as I said, Silva is 20 years of age and one of the most impressive central defenders in Europe already. Starting in a deep Champions League run for a huge club like Benfica, that should tell you everything. And under consideration that he's only 19 years of age and his reading of the game and tidy nature on the ball is so good, that is exactly what is going to elevate him to elite levels and prolong career far into his 30s. Positional sense is hard to install into young players. So, true top suspect has to have initiative. Silva walked into the Benfica side, nailed down the starting spot and displayed semblance of calmness from his first very minutes in the first team. So, listen, that's kind of been mean talking about Antonio Silva. Um, overall, I think he has a very, very good trait. He's still young, a raw talent can still develop. But what I've seen and kind of read and the clips I've saw, he does seem like a very, very good defender. As I said, if Manchester United are going to sign him, he is a very, very good target. He's a young kind of centre. Well, he's 20 years of age. He is seen as the next upcoming thing. So let's see what happens. Will Manchester United sign him? Hopefully you find out a bit more about him. Thanks for watching and peace.